Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is being shot with the ZTE Axon 7 camera, uh, or so we say phone, I might as well use the word camera because that's what I'm interested in, that front-facing camera on the Axon 7. Uh, now, I did an unboxing video. You may have seen that, maybe not. You should, and you should like it and subscribe. I'm supposed to ask that. Anyways, but uh, the unboxing video was just quick and dirty, and I talked about a tool that I did not know what it was. I do know what it is now. Uh, basically, it's a nice fancy paper clip <laughs> without the clip aspect of it. You really can't clip anything out of this. But this little pin right here is the pin you use to open your uh, SIM drawer so you can put the new nano size SIM card into your phone. So that's that tool. I don't know what the circle is for. Maybe you can hook it onto a key ring. But there's no way, no, there's another, there's a key ring holder right here. So I don't know what this little circle thing is for on this end of it, you know, but I'm not going to use this thing for anything anyway, just keep it in the box. And you should, by the way, you should always keep the box of your cell phones, you get a new cell phone or whatever, always keep the box in case you have to return it to somebody or have to ship it back for repair or whatever. Why not ship it in the same box that was used to protect it in the first place? There's another thing I want to make a note of, well, two more things. Uh, on the ZTE phone was that it gave me this screen protector, okay, and this nice brown envelope. I did mention that, um, but if you look at it, there's still a screen saver in there, okay? It's nice protected. It's its own little thing. It's got its own little wipe. It's very nice. And it even has a little tool in here to help you make sure you don't have any of those irritating air bubbles that you might see. Well, you might be wondering, how come I didn't put this on the phone? And the reason for that is because they already did. That's a spare. They actually applied a uh, screen protector right on the screen. Now, I normally don't like these things because of air bubbles or, you know, a speck of dirt gets in there or something like that. And I just don't like that sort of thing. Um, however, there's, I see no problem with the image. The pictures look great. The video looks great uh, right on the phone screen. And I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, another thing, the other second thing I want to talk about was the screen protector. Not screen protector, the bumper. They actually give you a case for it, a bumper case. Like this one here that I bought for my Zen Phone 2, which is actually a gray phone, but you never could tell because I had a black bumper case for it. Um, but they give you a clear bumper case, comes in a box with your phone, and uh, you just put that right, right on your phone, uh, and, and you have your protection going on uh, for the ZTE uh, Axon 7. So I was very happy about all of that. And then uh, the first time I played a video on the phone, I was blown away by what? Those speakers. They have speakers on the side of the phone that face front. So it's not like on the Asus where I had to pretty much put my hand in a curve so I can have this sound coming at me. They get the sound right there in the front of the phone and it's coming right at you. Um, the other thing are the earbuds. The uh, Zen phone never came with any earbuds. It just came, you know, just with the phone itself. And that's all really all you got. Uh, but the, uh, the earbuds that come with the Axon 7 are excellent. They just sound fantastic. It just really blow you away with those things. They're very really high quality sound coming through those. So I was very impressed with that as well. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention with that is new phone, new user interface. Um, they have a user interface on the ZTE Axon 7 that I am not 100% blown away with. And it might just be user error you know, uh, because I don't know how to uh, customize it to work the way I like. But for about two years, I've been using the user interface, the Zen UI user interface, and I was very well accustomed to how to use it. Um, I had certain wallpapers, ringtones, all these kind of things uh, that I really liked and I kind of miss. Um, but I went into the Google Play Store, and what I did is I downloaded the Zen UI, the Zen, the Asus Zen UI interface is downloadable uh, on, I believe, any Android device. So I downloaded it to the ZTE Axon 7. I installed that and I basically made this phone look and feel like my Asus Zen Phone 2. The difference is my front-facing camera works. It has a better uh, front-facing camera, has a better rear-facing camera. It has newer technology just by default because it's a newer phone, newer product. And um, it also is already, already automatically upgraded itself to NuGet 7.0. Now, the last operating system I had on this phone was the Lineage OS. And Lineage OS had the um, NuGet 7.1.1, which is about to be 7.1.2, I guess, uh, or better. 
And, um, but that's the one I was having problems with on my Asus. So uh, they do have it for the ZTE, but since it's a brand new phone, I'm gonna let the manufacturer do with their automatic upgrades and make sure that everything's okay with it. And um, the Lineage OS is nice, but even with that, I still used the Asus Zen user interface uh, just because I was used to how it worked and I liked the way it worked. Um, the other thing about my phones in general is I like a nice clean screen. Um, I had an Apple iPhone 3GS that I would still be using today if it was supported anymore, but it is not, which is the reason why I upgraded my phone anyway, or changed phones. Uh, but uh, on my iPhone, I had icons all over the screen, and I don't like a screen full of icons. I don't like that. Um, I like If I have an image of something on, on my phone, I prefer to look at the image. Or an uncluttered phone is easier to understand what's going on and where it's going on, because only the thing that's flashing or making noise or whatever whatever visual clues you have that's all you need to pay attention to so i like a minimalistic uh think about it like the airplanes uh, uh the cockpits of the airplane they call it a dark cockpit and it's because if there's a light on, is on if a light comes on in the cockpit of the new uh a commercial aircraft um, the pilot needs to pay attention to that so that's the kind of idea i like uh if something isn't important i don't need to know about it and then when it is important, I do want to know about it. So on my particular phone, I only have uh, four icons on the bottom of the screen. I have my telephone, the instant messenger. Um, I have a, what I created was a folder for any other applications that I want to use. And there's less than 12. There's only a couple of uh, applications that I use with regularity. So um, I, those are all I want in that, in that thing. But there's too many where clutter up my screen a bit more. So I put them in a folder. Now, I couldn't see an easy way to put them in a folder with the other operating system or the user interface that came with the Axon 7, which is why I downloaded the uh, um, Zen UI that I had on my Asus and uh, started using that. Uh, so with that, I was able to put everything in a folder that I wanted to use, like maybe I want to look at Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, maybe I want to look at uh, uh, YouTube uh, uh, Producer Studio or the, the YouTube Studio, uh, Creator Studio, I'm sorry, is what it's called. Uh, things I want to look at on a constant basis, but there's a couple of them where if I had them out on the home screen, it clutters up my screen and I don't like that. And of course, the last icon is the most important one. It's the one for the camera. Uh, and uh, there are a couple of interesting features that I want to talk about, but this video is going to go a bit long if I start doing that. So I'm going to stop it there. Um, I love my Asus Zenfone 2. I love the phone. I was making good use of it. I want to do a lot of experimentation with making video with this phone. Uh, but that was not to be. I apologize to anybody who's looking for any of my videos to help them fix their Asus Zenfone 2. I do like the Lineage OS and I do like the 7.1.1 Nougat that they uh, had on there for us. Um, but for some reason or another, it just was not happening for me. And I don't have the time and energy to go back and unbrick this phone and make it work again right now because I'm too busy studying and I'm working and everything else. I, get, I have too much other things I have to do with my time right now. Uh, but with that, uh, I'm gonna make some other videos about the Axon 7 phone, and I'll go ahead and put those in that same um, playlist. If you, go to my, uh, my, if you go to my channel, you're gonna see that I have playlists. If you click underneath the picture, you'll see that you can look at uploaded videos and this and that and the other. Click on playlist. I have a playlist, and the playlist for my uh, phones, it, it says Android, Asus Zenfone and ZTE Axon 7. So that's the new name of that playlist. And basically I want to focus on things that are related to Android and specifically this new phone that I'm using to try to experiment with making video for YouTube with a smartphone. Okay, so with that and until the next video, take care and be well.